Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This okay, what? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be messages for the sign of Gemini. Okay, around the Virgo full moon. We're gonna see what messages spirit has for Gemini around this Virgo full moon. Okay, if you're new to the channel, make sure to give me a big fat thumbs up and also subscribe. And if you've already been here. Thanks for the support and make sure to hit that like button. Share, like and share, please subscribe, okay? Okay, Spirit Guides is the universe of the white light. What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini around this Virgo full moon, please? Geminians, please. What's the messages for my Geminians, Spirit? What's the messages for the Geminis out there? What's the messages for the Geminis, please, Spirit? This one wanted to come. We have star seed. What lights you up? What's the message for my uh, Gemini's, please? And then we have the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes, okay? So you could be a star seed. You could be discovering that um, Gemini bottom on the deck soul family calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone, okay? So this card is um, it also looks like a twin flame. Um, card here but also yes yeah, soul family so you, you have a soul family here you could be a light worker here a star seed and you've been this for lifetimes here and you're a part of a soul family that you could be coming into yeah transformation things are changing at a cellular cellular level deep healing yeah and then where are you being called to journey to and the energetic upgrades a new way of being integration yeah so you could be being, you know, realizing that you're a light worker here, realizing you're a spiritualist here. Gemini, that's for some of you. Okay, what's the messages for my Geminians out here, spirit? What's the messages for Geminians, please, spirit, God, angels, universe of the world, light only around the Virgo full moon. What can my Geminians expect? Yeah, so some of you could be, be, have been star seeds for like a star seed for lifetimes here, and you're meeting other people who are as well. You're joining some kind of community with people who are as well. You get messages for the Gemini, please, spirit for Gemini's. Yeah, we have celebrate life that came out, and then we have flow with life. Yeah, so you're celebrating this newfound information that you've discovered about yourself. You're flowing with life. You're allowing these messages to, to come through here. Yeah, and then star card is sticking out. Good fortune, yeah. Because you're allowing yourself to flow with life, you're opening up to who you truly are. Things are starting to come in. You have the gift of creativity. You're, you're, you're being very creative, maybe working on a creative endeavor here. Yeah. You're, spread, you're celebrating this newfound, like, you know awareness of yourself here you're flowing with life and it's bringing you good fortune if it's something creative you're working on it's going if it hasn't already brought you a lot of fortune it will be okay so what's the messages for my gemini's please? spirit guys angels universe of the white light what messages do you have for my geminians around this virgo full moon please? What's the messages for my Geminians around this Virgo full moon, please? What's the messages for my Geminians? Please, Spirit, God's angels, universe of the white light. What's the message for my Geminians surrounding this full moon and Virgo, please? Geminians. What's the messages for my Geminians? Okay, we have the Queen of Wands down there. Let's see what comes out. What's the messages for my Gemini, please? We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So something's not reliable or stable here. Let me see if this whole, the whole deck in reverse. Okay. We have the Death in reverse, the Strength in reverse, and the Seven of Wands. So, um... Somebody doesn't want to end the situation here for a sword. Or somebody's stuck in their head about how the situation ended here. 
could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo here. The Four of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. The Five of Wands and the Two of Cups. Okay, let's see, let's see. And the Two of Pentacles reverse. So somebody's all over the place emotional. Yeah, the Fool behind it in the Emperor reverse. Somebody is losing. Okay. It's like somebody refuses to end a situation here. They're not letting go of a situation here. Somebody could hear, could be very much in their emotions or, or conflicted about a new love here. Maybe somebody that you're not in contact with here, Gemini. There could be a lot of spats and arguments with the Five of Wands. It could even be about work here. Or somebody holding on to money here. Or even maybe even losing money. But somebody is very selfish here. Somebody's holding back from giving with the King of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Pentacles. Or somebody could not be doing well at work, could not be making a lot of money, or their money has went down. So they're holding on to what they have here. There's a decrease in security, is what I'm getting here. There's also a connection here that is on somebody's mind. Somebody can be very argumentative, can be very competitive with this five of wands. They want to put their defenses down here. Okay. What's that king of pentacles with the death and reverse in the four pentacles? Sorry, I dropped the card, y'all. Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, somebody's being very petty, holding on to money, not giving to a situation here. Somebody feels very, like, defeated here. Somebody feels like it's, it was an unwise choice here to hold back from somebody. Now they don't want to let the relationship go with the death here. They want to revive it. Yeah, nine of swords is next. Very much in their head here about a bad decision that they made here, holding back from someone, not being, giving someone a commitment that they that they deserved here. You have six of cups, somebody from your past that you're still holding on to, you're in your head about. You feel like you made a bad decision here. Could have been somebody you've been working with, okay? Yeah, what's the six of cups? Yeah, we got the six of pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah. With the Hierophant. Yeah, this is somebody you, from your past that you wish you um would have made a better choice with. You could have been breadcrumbing this person. Could have been dealing with a Virgo. A pre-empress energy here. You made a bad decision. And now you wish things didn't end with that death card in reverse. You're very weak-willed. You want to reach out to this person. You want to offer them a commitment now like you didn't in the past. You have two of wands, the four of wands, the chariot, the sun. You decided that you want to be with this person here, but it may be a little bit too late. Okay. Yeah, what's this um, seven of wands? What's this? Okay. The will of fortune. Yeah, somebody wants to put their defenses down and move something forward. What's this five of wands and two of cups for the Gemini? Five of wands and two of cups. We have all fives here, so this is a very tumultuous relationship, or it was. Page of cups in reverse. Somebody made a lot of books. Uh, false promises, broken promises. You have the two of swords and the five of pentacles. We have the five of wands, five of swords, five of pentacles. So you could be seeing five, five, five. Okay. But somebody has somebody that was pre-empress here, beautiful, the independent. You know what I'm saying? Good, uh, a very emotional fulfilling here. But it looks like there was an ending with the death card. 
Okay, you have five pentacles. What else? What's up for the five of pentacles? Now somebody can't get this connection off their mind, all the false promises that they made. Yeah. Somebody couldn't make a decision here. So somebody went cold and left somebody out in the cold here. Yep, seven of pentacles. Now somebody's looking back on the past, how they handle things here. What's the two of cups? What's the two of cups? The Empress, yep, could it could be with the Libra. Yeah, the world in reverse. They don't in the death in reverse, they don't want this cycle to be over. Three of cups in reverse. But it could have been a third party situation here. Yeah, ace of swords. They want to reconcile with this person from their past here. It could be a Libra. Yep, Ten of Cups that made them very happy here. They're looking back on the past, how things ended, how they played games here. And they want to really make, with the higher fire and the Ace of Pentacles, they could even want to get engaged to this person. They want to make a move toward this person. Here, what's the Eight of Wands? What's the Eight of Wands? What's the Eight of Wands? Yeah, the King of Swords is here. Ten of Pentacles. What is the Eight of Wands? The King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles reversing the King of Cups. So the King and Queen of Pentacles are here. That's a marriage. Somebody could have been married here. Okay, somebody also reached out from someone from their past and they got rejected. Somebody was cold to their ass. But yeah, there was a marriage here. Somebody could have made a decision between this person and this other person. But this marriage may be over or it could be going through a divorce. What's the King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse? King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, somebody was a mistress and somebody had a family full of wands and a high priest. The, the Libra could have been the other person. Yeah, the fool in reverse. King of Pentacles. In reverse. Yeah, here go the King of Wands. The Page of Swords. And the Six of Swords. Yeah, there were secrets with the move. Somebody's moving on because of secrets and lies. There was a mistress in this relationship. Now somebody actually wants to, yeah, the lovers, a secret lover, the moon and the, the lovers, the queen of cups in reverse. So there's a queen of pentacles here, okay? The empress and the queen of cups is here as well as, yeah. Yeah, okay. So there was an um ending, yeah. There was an ending here with the three of swords here and the four of cups. Somebody rejected, somebody rejected and offered this queen of cups. I feel like somebody could have been dealing with a few different people, but somebody here is married. That relationship is over with both the king and queen of pentacles in reverse. Okay, there could be kids involved. And then there was a queen of cups, a water sign somewhere where that ended with the three of swords. Somebody was, was rejected there. That was secret love. And then we have up here, okay, we have the two of cups with the empress in the world of work. So somebody wants to go back. So somebody's basically was juggling people, putting people in competition here. With the five of wands, five of swords, the five of pentacles, very tumultuous. But somebody actually here wants to be with this empress though. This two of cups energy. Somebody can have a twin flame and then be in a karmic relationship as well. 
or this Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be the same person. There's no love there. There's no more nurturing affection in that relationship. It's just over. And somebody wants to move forward with this air sign over here, this Libra. Okay, Gemini. This person makes you happy. But you are in a karmic relationship with someone. And then you have a soulmate and then you have a twin flame that you want to move toward. You want to celebrate life with. Okay. You feel like this person, is, you're meant to be with them. You feel like this person is very creative. Yeah, the emperor in reverse. Somebody here was very controlling here. Yeah, ten of wands. The star could be dealing with an Aquarius. The emperor and the empress is here. So yes, a twin flame connection and then a soulmate connection is here. Yeah, justice is here. So this, this karma can meant to occur for somebody to drop the one situation and move forward toward another one. And I'm sorry to say, but I really feel like this um, family unit is what is going to be dropped or needs to end in order for somebody to go back toward this other person. Yeah, there was a spat and ending with this person from your past here because there was games and juggling and lies and third parties here. And the Empress does not do third parties, lies, or games. Messages for the sign of Gemini, please, Spirit. So something ended here. Messages for the sign of Gemini. Let's get some clarification real quick, though. So, yeah, this was karma. I don't know. A lot of karma is going around out here lately. So this is karma for someone. For juggling, not making the decision, for playing games, for doing whatever they felt like they wanted to do here. Messages for my Geminis, please. Spirit guides, thank you, Jennifer. So the white light. What is the messages for Geminians, please? What is the messages for the Geminians? Yeah. Yeah, somebody just kind of moved on and left the situation hanging here. Four, four swords in reverse. We have the nine of wands. The tower in reverse. And the two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's heavily all over the place. Yeah, ace of wands. Somebody is annoyed, upset. They think that somebody, this person from their past, but yeah, the lovers are reversed. The Eight of Cups, they're in the sun. Yeah, somebody's moved on toward their happiness here. Yeah, they weren't with the games. Yeah, look at this. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. You could have could be dealing with an Aquarius, but they wasn't with the games, the lies, the cheating, the back and forth. They moved on. This Empress, this person that they missed, that they feel like is a wish fulfillment, that they don't want the tower to fall with in reverse. That makes them ha very happy with the sun. This person moved on. Yeah, the page of wands and the empress. Somebody beautiful, physically very beautiful here. That you don't want this ending with, but it did. The world, you're not sure if this person is seeing somebody new with the ace of wands. But there's definitely an ending to one connection with the lovers here being here twice in reverse. I also feel like... Somebody, well, the lovers is up right here, and the lovers is in the way. So I feel like, you know, somebody feels like they made a bad decision here when it came to love. What's the messages for my Geminians, please? They feel like they made a bad decision here. If you, if you fucked around on an empress, a Libra, you, yeah, you did make a bad decision, and you're quite, you, you must be a goddamn fool. Because the Empress is all the queens in the day. She is the highest. She is exalted. She is the highest of every all those queens. How do you play a Libra? And this could be the one in reverse. So somebody feels like this is not the one. Yep, separation is some reverse unrequited love and engagement. So, yeah. Somebody's just moved on. It's like their feelings have just changed here. Okay, what's the death card? Yeah, justice, and it's meant to happen that way. What's the death card? Yeah, the judgment next. 
justice and judgment. It was meant to happen this way. Yeah, it was meant for the situation to end exactly how it ended. Okay, because somebody wanted to play stupid ass games. Yeah, they know they deserve love, but you deserve love. And they moved on towards that to somebody new here. With this Ace of Wands, yeah, playfulness. They was tired of, tired of playing games, playfulness in reverse, and moved on. Now this could be seriously a missed opportunity with this with with someone. Yeah, children in reverse. They're not with the games, the playfulness, the childishness, any of that. They're not okay with that shit. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah. They can feel like this new person they're dealing with that is safe love, yeah, attraction in reverse. They feel, their feelings have just changed for this person. Like, they're no longer attracted to this person and who they are. Okay, finances and career, and then worth waiting for, yeah. They don't feel like this person is worth waiting for. The chemistry has died down. The chemistry in reverse, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah, release your ex and free yourself. Yeah, somebody does not want to talk about it. They just want to. They just move forward, moving on. So that they could even block you here, Gemini, or you them. Spirit guys, angels, universe, and the white knight. The Empress knows her worth. She knows 2121 was just on the clock. She knows her worth. She does not play those type of games. What's the messages for the Gemini's, please, Spirit, my Geminians? If you play games with her, joke with her, whatever, lie, do this type of shit right here, she's gone. She's out. And before she goes, she's going to cut your ass off and let you know about yourself. She's going to protect herself from any deceit, lies, or any of that shit. Anything that's not good for her. What's the messages for the Gemini? What cards do we have for the Gemini? What's the messages for my Gemini? We have... Cassette came out in reverse. Over outdated thinking condition will be playing events over and over and over. Yeah, somebody's not even really thinking about the situation anymore. They're just like, fuck it. Yeah, photograph. Um, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgic relationship evolving, the butterfly to the next phase. So, yeah. This person is reminiscing, looking at pictures here. What's the messages? My Gemini's, yeah, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, floating, want a date. Yeah, so you could have met somebody new here, Gemini, or the other person stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception. Shocking attack. Yeah, somebody feels. Yeah, stab you in the back is a reverse. So somebody want to be with somebody that's not going to stab them in the back. Yeah, key on the ring, many options, decision, unconventional. Yeah, that's in reverse. They want to date somebody that, that wants them and only them. That's going to focus on them and only them. The Empress does not do options, just period. Okay, yeah, wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love. Yeah, kisses in reverse, unconditional love, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection. Yeah, there's no affection here. We have addiction and clock. Okay, bottom of the deck, talking in reverse. So somebody doesn't want to talk to it. Somebody feels like somebody has bad habits. Here. They're narcissists. They're controlling with the emperor in reverse. They're possessive. They, um, so somebody wants to kill themselves. Okay? Somebody wants to heal themselves from a toxic situation and move forward. And they're doing that. It's what it looks like. So this looks like a missed opportunity. It is what it is. Okay? So, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.